Lord, I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? to me, I always, I always look at things in perspective. I want to ask Baltimore a question. You know, we get people that come up here that are of different nationalities, sometimes they are of African descent, and they want to attack us because we're speaking the truth about our heritage. And they'll come up here and they'll say that we're bashing other groups, we're bashing Africans, or we're bashing other groups. But it's funny to me I always ask the question every week, how many African nations came over and fought for us? How many African nations are coming over and are going to fight for Sonia Massey? It's real soil every time a black man gets a hole blown into him from these African nations. And some of them have military personnel. How come they don't come over here and declare war and defend us? You know why? Because we're not the same people. And I, we're not the same people. And I've said this before and I've said it hundreds of times. When the transatlantic slave trade happened, those Africans knew how to get to this landmass because they were coming over here before the slave trade. Now how many countries came over here and declared war on them Europeans that were taking us? Not one. You know why? Because they helped them. And they worked with them. Because we're not the same people. So, and this the same, the same people that come up and attack the black men of the IHBK and talk about we hate and we're hating on Africans, those same people will go to that white boss on Monday, how can I help you, sir? And they'll go up there and humble themselves to that white boss, but will sit up here and attack the men of the Lord. And you know why? I always say this every week, because the secret is they love the white man. They love the white man, they love working for the white man. And you know what? They love working for the white man so much, they'll make sure you're unalive so they can get a crop. And that's been happening throughout the history. Now let me ask you a question. Who is the devil? Who is the devil? Well, first of all, let's find out, well, what is a devil? We know a devil is a slanderer. Now I'm going to ask you a question. If we were to just look at statistics, who has gone into every nation on this planet and unalived people in mass numbers? Who has destroyed cultures and civilizations? It ain't, it ain't nobody in your hood, is it? We know that. It ain't nobody in our hood that has gone to other land masses and destroyed civilizations. And only a devil could do that. Only a devil could go into civilizations and destroy a people and take their identity. Only a devil would be able to do that. But you know what? The Bible actually identifies the characteristics of a devil. Now what we're going to do today, because I like being a teacher, is we're going to go through a lesson today through the scriptures, and I'm going to see if you can identify who the Bible is talking about when it's talking about the characteristics of a devil. Can we do that, Baltimore? Can we go and look through the scriptures together and see if we can identify who the devil is? Because when you watch Hollywood, they'll make it seem like the devil is some invisible guy with some horns living underground. But guess what? You actually work for the devil every day. The devil actually pulls you over when you're driving. The devil is the one that put the Hispanics on the border in cages. The devil is the one that took the land masses from the natives. The devil is the one that took the mass incarceration of black people. The devil is the one that did redlining. The devil is the one that made sure the banks got, gave no type of subsidizing to blacks, but gave it to whites. Only a devil would do that. Only a devil would plot things and be conniving and mischievous 
And uh, guess what, black man? Does that talk about you? Let's see it for the day. Let's get John 8, verse 44. I want us to identify and help me out here, black man and black woman. We want to identify who the devil is. And we're going to see who has done these devilish characteristics throughout history. Can we look at that black man, Hispanic man, and native man? And then let's come up with a solution. And instead of fighting the man of the Lord back here that are out here for you, sit here and listen. Because I guarantee you tomorrow, many of us is going to sit and listen to the Christian pastor who's going to read one word from the scripture and then have everybody do a song and dance. Instead of that, don't you want some substance? Just we'll sit here and listen to these politicians that have nothing, that have never done anything for black people. What politician do you know that has done anything for black people? Do you really think Kamala Harris? Do you really think Trump? Do you really think Obama? Do you really think Clintons? Do you really think any of these people had it in their heart to help you out of your condition, black man? No. You know why? Because they thrive off of your pain. They thrive off of your pain. They get money off of your pain. And that's why we're going to look at the characteristics of what a devil is today. Can we do that, Baltimore? We're going to look at the characteristics. Let's get John 8, verse 44. We got that book. Go ahead and read. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 44. Now, this is John, chapter 8, verse 44. Now, Christians that are out here, the people that are going to church tomorrow, you say you believe in the words of Yahweh Shah, who is known as Christ. Listen to the words of what Christ says. He actually helps you identify who the devil actually is. Read. John chapter 8, verse 44. Ye are of your father, the devil. You know what's so funny? Christ right here is talking about the religious leaders of his day. And he said, ye are like your father, the devil. He's talking to the religious leaders, the ones that have manipulated our people, the ones that have fooled our people, the ones who have bent our people. He's talking to them, and guess what? He didn't identify them as righteous good men. He said, you are of your father, the devil. Now let's see what he says of what a devil does. Read. And the lust, and the lust of your father, and the lust of your father, you will do. And the lust of your father you will do. Let's find out what the lust of the father of the of the devil's father will do. Go ahead. He was a murderer. He was a what? Murderer. He was he unalive people. The first characteristic that we've seen from a devil is that he unalives people. And he was an unalive from when? From the beginning. From the beginning. I mean from the start. He was like this from the womb. From the start, he was an unaliver. What else? And abode not in the truth. And abode not in the truth. That means he didn't tell the truth. He abode not in the truth. How many people have been lied to by the devil? What group of people have lied to our people throughout history? What group of people lied to the Native Americans every time they signed a treaty? What people lied to our people when slavery was supposed to be over, but they were putting us back on the plant our plantations through sharecropping? What people lied and tricked us and caused us to work in the chain gangs and the, and the prisons? What people lied about that? Read up. Because there is no truth in him. There is no truth in him. What group of people, what massive group of people has had no truth in them from the beginning, from throughout history? There's only one group that has done that. Do y'all know what group that is? What, oh, this brother's shaking his What group is that, brother? Oh, there's a group, though. There's one group of it that has done it. And you know what that group is? That's the white man who's so-called devil. That's the white man. He's been the one that has been a liar and has not told the truth from the beginning. He has not told the truth at all. And guess what? And that is one of the characteristics of a devil. He unalives people and then he lies. He lies. And you guess what? If that camera wasn't on, do you think that police officer would told the truth about Sonia Massey? What do you do? What do you say? They said it's on how you write the report. 
He to sucks you through the pot of water at me. Because you know what? There is no truth in them. Because they are liars. And they have been liars from the beginning. And we have to understand that. And they will continue to do this criminal type of behavior until the Most High intervenes and stops them. I've said this many times before. If a criminal keeps doing criminal behavior and is not stopped, are they going to stop themselves? Absolutely not. They're going to continue in that behavior. And guess what? The white man has done this four to five hundred, actually even thousands of years. And guess what? He's going to continue to do this. That's why when people talk about when Sonia Massey was on alive, we're going to do a peaceful march. How many more peaceful marches do we have to do? Because guess what? It does not work. Because nobody, I've said this before, gives up power willingly. That's why it's going to take a powerful God to take power from the colonizer. That's why, because that's it's only a powerful God that can do that. And he's got to take vengeance not only on this colonizer, but also his children. Because guess what? If they don't, his children will rise up again. And guess what? They're going to do the exact same thing that their forefathers did. They'll do the exact same thing. You would think after the 1960s and 70s and after Dr. King, right, and all those other civil rights leaders, things would be different. They're still unalabbing blacks now like they did in the 60s, like they did in the 30s, like they did in the 1800s, like they did in the 1700s, and the cycle will con uh, continue until the Most High comes and intervenes. And guess what? He's starting to intervene. Let's start. Okay, he's starting to intervene. Let's look at one more. Let's look at one more characteristic of a devil. Give me Revelation 12. I hope that you're seeing these things now of what a devil looks like. The devil ain't a guy underground with a pitchfork. The devil is your supervisor. The devil is your manager. The devil is the one buying properties up in your neighborhoods. The devil probably is the principal at your elementary school. The devil was probably your elementary school teacher. Okay? The devil. That was the devil. And guess what? They're never going to do anything to your best interest. They're always going to do things in the best interest of themselves. Let's look at Revelation 12, verse 1. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 1. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. Okay, this is identifying Israel. And you know what? This is what I really like about this scripture. This is showing about Israel. Now guess who's in the same Israel uh, area that Israel's in? Read on. Verse 2. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. Now this woman is Israel, and she's being travailed and about to give birth to a child. Now guess who? Guess what she sees there? Guess what else is there? Verse 3. And there appeared another one in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his head. Verse 4. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, to devour her child. Who is devouring our people? Ready to devour our people. The, the, the abortion clinics are right there, ready to devour our people. So if we know, we can see. And every time the black man that you are trying to get your business or area started, guess who's also in your area? The white man's there too. All right, and with that, we are the ISBK coming out of 1 West 125th Street, Home, New York, under command of General Yohanna. Please come over to the table and talk to the men of the Lord to find out the truth. And with that, shalom, Baltimore. Yeah. Babylon.